All right, so I'm going to talk about section box now. Um, we looked at 3D perspective and sections and elevations and plans, and now I want to take a look at how to create sections that are partitioned like this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at our plan 1A, or plan A1. And basically what's going on is there are a series of sections that I have taken here and I have associated what's called a section box with those sections. So let's just talk about a section box really quick. So I'm going to go to my default 3D view here. And if I turn on my section box over here in my um, properties dialog box, it's under the extents area, it will go to the extents of my entire project. So there's a floor in here that it's adjusting itself to. If I turn off that section box and I'm going to hide and view elements, that floor, and then I'm going to view hide those two guys. If I now turn on my section box, it will adjust to that small piece. So it's up to you if you want to turn things on and off. Now once I have this section box, I can actually come in and begin to pull a section through that. Right, so now oh, and it's very hard to see that blue, there it is, that blue piece in the blue section. So if I pull it this way, it'll section through there, right? And I can also pull it from the top and the bottom. So you can section through your object or your your model very quickly. Now if you want to do this with some accuracy you can actually associate the section box with a view. So to do that you can left click on this, go down to the flyout menu. So this is the navigation wheel that I got from the navigation bar. If I go to this flyout menu we go to orient to view suddenly all of your views come up. And I can actually orient to view plan A1 schematic and it'll go into what looks like that plan view and I'm going to close this by left clicking on the X up here but it's a 3D view so if I double click on the top left corner or the bottom left corner of this view cube it actually takes me into that 3D view with the setting from the floor plan. Now if I go back and let's go to orient to view and I'm just going to go to section 2. It clips itself into that section view. It's a little dark, but we'll look at it here in a different view. And I can do the same thing. Double click on it and it shows that section view. Now the, the sun is coming from the top right. So I'm going to come over here and go to sun settings. And I'm going to set that. Or actually it's coming, it's being controlled by the uh, by the location. I'm just going to go to lighting here and I'm going to do it from the top left and hit apply so you can kind of see how that's working. right? So now I can actually spin around this in 3D and you can see that sort of section slice. Now <clears throat> that section slice is coming from section 2 which if I go to plan A1 this is section 2 right here I believe. Let me Yes, so section two, if I pick it, is sectioning through this, the view range is sectioning right through this little area right there. Now, when I come back, let me go back to this guy. When I come back, I'll show you how to sort of set up that section and set up this, a series of views.